Hello Formula One and IndyCar fans, welcome to Formula Pun Racer. Wasn't the Monaco Grand Prix in the Indy 500 exciting? Oh boy, I haven't had a chance to watch the Monaco Grand Prix yet, but I will say the Indy 500 was practically controversial and exciting all at once. My official review of that video will be posted on November 25th, so if you're, you're anxious to see what I thought of the 2023 Indianapolis 500, be sure to tune in November 25th and why the 25th is a special reason as well as taking Vanessa Williams' advice in saving the best for last. And to bring up to speed, I will say one thing when it comes to the Monaco Grand Prix and the Indy 500. For those of you who do sports betting, I hope none of you um, put any money on Marco Andretti to win the Indy 500 or Ferrari to win the Monaco Grand Prix because if you so much as parlayed them together, <laughs> I'm afraid the odds of um, being successful would have been as greatly as Weird Al Yankovic hosting an IndyCar racing team with Aston Martin engines and Al Pacino and Jason Alexander as the drivers. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'd like to uh, issue a minor apology to all Argentine IndyCar fans out there, because when I said in my last video, the starting grid, that Augustine Canapino is the first Argentine to race in the Indianapolis 500, I was wrong. It turns out the first Argentine racers that race in the Indy 500 was in fact 80 years previously, Martin Di Alzaga and Raul Rigante. In addition, there was an Italian-born Argentine named Juan Godino, so that makes uh, Augustine Canapino the fourth Argentine to race in the Indy 500 overall. So hopefully Argentine won't be crying for me about that. Even though at this point Honda is still providing technical support to the Red Bull power units as well as Alfa Tori, in 2026, when Red Bull and AlphaTauri switch to Ford engines, it turns out Honda is going to be making a full-time return to F1 as they are going to back up the Aston Martin F1 team. So basically a factory effort behind the Silverstone team. Isn't that exciting? Oh! To conclude this video, if you wish to know what racing action is occurring in 24 hours from now on the 4th of June, there is the Spanish Grand Prix for the F1 calendar. Max Verstappen of Red Bull's already on pole, but local boy Carlos Sainz Jr. is a Ferrari is starting second, so that should be interesting. But don't count out other Spanish hero Fernando Alonso who starts ninth in the Aston Martin. So who knows what exciting action might occur if Red Bull will claim another victory in a row, or will someone break up that Red Bull dominance in Spain? On the IndyCar side of things, you can catch the latest racing action in downtown Detroit. That's right, instead of Belle Isle Park, they are racing in downtown Detroit for the first time since 1991. But given how bumpy the surface is, it can be quite challenging for all the drivers that are racing there, and Spaniard Alex Pillow of Chip Ganassi is on pole for that race. So, thanks for watching my latest videos. I will hope to post my videos of the Indy 500 Festival Parade and raw footage of the 2023 Indy 500 later on, and probably get on with the Monaco Grand Prix later on. So if you like these videos I make, please subscribe, like, and comment to Formula Pun Racer for more racing humor and news, and I'll see you all in the next video, and we'll see who wins in Spain and Detroit. See you in the next video, everyone. I'm Aaron Cylinder, firing on all cylinders.